Good afternoon. Ah, Isabella. When did you come back? I didn't hear the school bus drop you off. On commande quand c'est la school bus driver to stop disturbing him with his bus horn. Oh my goodness. Marcus, what is wrong with that gate man? <sighs> Honey, please go to your room and undress, all right? Okay, auntie. Before you come down, I will prepare your lunch, okay? I was watching that. Watching what? While you're eating. Besides, don't you know that's an adult film? And you're not supposed to be watching an adult film. Sorry, Auntie. You're looking for what to watch while you're eating. And that reminds me. I thought your school advocates for the term. Yes, Auntie. So what about your result? Or didn't you get it? I got it. Why didn't you bother showing it to me? Hurry up with the food and go get me your results fast. Isabella, what's the meaning of this? 26 out of 26? Isabella, what kind of performance is this? My teacher was supposed to write second and... Will you shut up! You don't have the guts to defend this. How can you come second with those low grades of yours? Even look at your teacher's comments. Look, plays too much and pays less attention during classes. What has come over you, Isabella? When will you change? Your mama was so disappointed in you with this result. Will you get to your room? And come here. Come and take your results. Show it to your mom when she gets back. Take. Isabella, you don't want to tell your mommy what happened, right? What happened? Isabella, go and show your mommy your results. Now. Oh, that's true. I forgot the clothes for the term today. Why did she show me her results? Wait until she comes back. Isabella, why didn't you show me the results as soon as I got back? Now I see why you didn't show me the result. You failed again. I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry for yourself. What's the matter with you? Badly last term, and you're even worse this term. What's wrong with you? Sister, you can even check as teacher's comments. Plays too much. Doesn't concentrate. Did I send you to school to play? What are all those toys for upstairs? They're for you to play with. I did not send you to school to play, but to learn. I'm very sorry, Mom. Do you even know the worst part? 
She said that her teacher made a mistake in that result. That she was supposed to come second. <laughs> the teacher was supposed to write second position. It was a mistake. Even a fool can see that, that, that she deserves to be 26th out of 26 with, with, with this sort of result. This is abysmal. If it was possible, you'd be 32nd out of 26. What is this? Are you still sitting here looking at me, watching TV? Leave me here! Leave here before I open my eyes! Leave this place before I flog you! This is humiliating now, Eunice. Huh? After all the money spent on her fees, what's the thing sending her to such an expensive school? What's this? I thought you must have gotten out of this mood by now. Huh? What happened wasn't your fault. No. It's my fault. Isabella is all I have in this world after losing her father. But you were doing your best. No, I'm not. I'm not fulfilling my duties as a mother. My job is too demanding. I'm not even home to do her homework with her. Her performance keeps getting worse. Sister, from all I could see, you are trying to survive as a single mom. And you need your job. See, I don't know what to do right now. I'm so confused. I'm just happy you NYSC brought you here to Lagos so you see what I'm going through. Do you know what? I think I have an idea. What's that? Thank you so much, Mr. Joseph, for honoring my invitation. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, it's all right. You've been a kind and generous parent. So being at your bake and call is the least I can do to show my appreciation. I'm glad to hear that, Mr. Joseph, but um, I'm not happy. Why? You know why. My daughter's academic performance has been deteriorating steadily, and it's alarming. What's going on? You know, I have called you severally on the phone, but you're too busy to answer. I'm sorry, it's just... My job is so demanding. Um, actually, I, I was trying to call you to complain to you about your daughter's behavior in class. You know, she, she plays a lot and she, she hardly concentrates. I used to write it in a daily performance report book. I'm not sure I've ever had the time to take a look at that book. That's the problem. That is the problem. She comes to school with her homework undone. And I kept complaining about this. But she's never told me about her homework. Did you bother to ask? Did you ask? See, educating a child, it's not done only by the teacher. Much is expected of the parents. I know I've been failing in the du my duties as a parent, but that's why I called you to prefer a solution. My sister suggested we get her a private tutor. Um, yes, yes. That's what most parents do. You know, since they cannot make out time, you know, for their children at home. So I think it's, it's the best thing to get a tutor for her. Especially these holidays. Okay, I'd like to employ you immediately. I, I'm ready to pay you whatever you want. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to disappoint you. I've been contracted already by at least five different parents. So I don't think I'll have that time. You have to help me out, Mr. Joseph, please. Help me out. Well, um, I think I will. Yes, there is this Mr. Gideon, who is also a primary four teacher like me. So um, I will talk to him about your request. 
Let me see if, you know, it can be coming around. Trust me, he's a good teacher and I think he can be of help to your daughter. Ah, oh, thank you so much. That, that just takes a load off my chest. Please, just contact him. Tell him to start immediately. No problem. I'll do just that, yeah? <laughs> so, oh, pardon my negligence. What can I offer you? I'm sorry. You disappointed me. I promise not to fail next time. Please. My darling, you're all I have in this world. I don't want you to be a failure. Okay, get up. Thank you, Mom. I spoke to your teacher and made arrangements for a private tutor. A person will be able to help you, you know, do better, understand what you're being taught in class. Okay? Yes, Mom, I'm looking forward to that. That's fine. Get your auntie for me. Yes, Mom. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He make Marcus. us me. Marcus! Marcus! Come, are you Ocho? No, let me ask you. Are you Ocho? They sent you from village. What is the meaning of all this nonsense? Even the Lord who formed you from the cheat of the angel, even over that cheat, he does not even have the credit for him. Are you, 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 you the great nonsense? Marcus, are you shouting at me? Me, Eunice? Are you... What is he shouting? You don't see these people when they shout. You're not even fat, you're not tall. If I talk, if I shout, he's going to eat you. Which kind of nonsense is that what he's What is going on here? Madam. Madam, you remember the Paul and Salah, they played the song. And the Holy Ghost come down. Zip it. Eunice, what is happening? Sister, can you imagine this nonentity of a gate man? Hey! I came here to deliver the message you sent me and he was busy raining insults on me, calling me names. Hey! Marcus, are you tired of your job here? Madam, he does not ask the question that is supposed to be lightful as in this place. He does not hear what she talks. He said nonentity. She does not have respect for me and the respect for the same who are being over there. I'm not to but you're not broken. You're not going to go on a choose of simple that I'm fighting for 10 30 years now. 30 days, self. Maybe let there be a breakthrough in my life. Eh? And she's here talking to me anyhow. Sister, this your gate man has no atom of respect at all. Where did you get this insect from? Does he hear it? Let us be the first and the last time. I hear you disrespect her. Do I make myself clear? I, I, I go this this leopardy. Ah, now you I go this leopardy now. Madam, shalom, shalom. Peace of the Lord. Take control, take control of the house. Now, I want you to go to the backyard. Get the blackboard. Clean it. Set it up properly. My daughter's tutor is going to be coming here today. I want them to stay there to take their lessons. Do you hear me? Madam, what do I hear? And then this is your sister, then we are taking over her. Hey, shh! But then we live in Ibrahim. Marcus! Find my battle, find my battle. Find my battle, find my battle. Find my battle, find my battle. This man is a tool.
Now who love you? Now who love you when run inside this place when you put you come inside? I beg your pardon? Because as I look outside, I did not see your Venza. And I does not see your G Wagon or what they can have president. At the same time, I did not see your land cruiser or what they can have. That is the reason why you get impunity and be knocking this, this door with all impunity. What is the meaning? Why, why are you looking for this place? And I am here to see the owner of this house. You see why people die like chicken? Mwakoko. And the life longly spent. You are looking at the owner of this house now because I decided to put on a short maker. You are looking at the lawful owner of this place and you are still looking for the, the ownership of the house. What is the meaning of that? Please, can you go in and inform the owner? I don't have all day, okay? Now, one you are very stupid. You are still there here, they speak. I say that I'm the rightful owner. Do you know how much this polo is? One pole of this thing could buy you ten times. I understand this place, see, they talk nonsense. Yes, to start with, that is a pillar, not pole. And uh, I Whatever. think you just call and be sure that I am in the right resident. Uh, uh, that is my wife. You get her number for this nonsense phone. Bros, na joke. Hey, na joke. I feel like Percy don't joke with you. Na joke. Please, can you go in and inform her that I am here before I lose my temper? Uh, okay. You, I, I will start you. And you don't have a problem with that. You don't, just go ahead and do your job. Oh, go ahead. Is the clue? Why it here like this? Young man, can you do your job? What is inside these books? For education. Education for children. For children. Don't worry. <laughs> don't don't be uh, stand this place. Let him, let me go and communicate. There's uh, no problem. You can go uh, ahead and do whatever you want to do. Not because of this agago gago what they sell for 150 for Ben Dambutiki. Thank you so much, Mr. Mr. Gideon. Huh? Gideon. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for agreeing to be my daughter's tutor. I'm sure Mr. Joseph told you about her poor performance last term. I really need a lot of help with her. Yes, ma'am. I am very sure that by next time, you will see a whole lot of improvement. Thank you very much. Um, as regards your check, um, I'll write that out, but I'll need you to start immediately. Oh, of course. I came fully prepared. I will definitely start now. Uh, Eunice. Yes, sir. Please, um, go out and make sure Marcus has arranged everything as I asked him to. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Eunice is my sister. She's a copper seven in Lagos, so she'll be available more than me to be able to relate with you as regards anything you may need. Oh, <laughs> and she's uh, pretty. <laughs> we all are. Yes, yeah, of course. <laughs> she, uh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, please. I really need you to drill her for me. Drill her very well. She's all I have. She don't have any problem, man. That's why I'm here. Okay. I'm getting stressed up. I think it's about time I resigned. I understand. So when are you coming back? This weekend. Please take care of my daughter for me. Sure, I will. I will. Eunice, mm -hmm. you don't know how I thank God every day that you were sent to Lagos for your youth service. If you weren't here now, I would have had to take Isabella to my friend's house and leave her there till I get back. Thank you. Sister, I'm strictly here for you and Isabella. And besides, I'm not leaving the house except for Thursdays, which is my CDs. And after that, I'll come back and stay with Isabella and a new teacher. Oh, that's true, the new teacher. Please, 
Monitor them very well, okay? Ensure Isabella doesn't give him a headache because I know her. Sure. Um, I'm almost done with the kitchen, so let me just pack your food for you. So. No, 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 no. I'll get something along the way. I really need to run. So, um, our topic today is numbers and powers of numbers. What did I say? Numbers and powers of numbers. Good. Now, what do I mean by numbers and powers of numbers? Assuming I write 2, what is 2? Numbers and powers of numbers. Good. Now, assuming I put another 2 slightly above it, now, it means that 2 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4. Now, if I have 2 raised to power of 3, that means 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by another 2, which is equal to... What are you doing? Are you even following? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing? Do you realize how woefully you failed last term? And do you know that if you didn't do very well this term, you will not be promoted to the next class. In fact, you will be expelled. Do you want to be expelled? No, uncle. Perhaps you want me to use cane on you. Do you want me to use cane on you? No, uncle. Then I need you to concentrate because this is very important that you concentrate. Hello. Hi. I can see you. You're really doing very well. I can see improvement. Um, let me not take much of your time. I had to get you this. Just manage it. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Isabella, concentrate so. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> I'll have to start all over again. Are you done with your homework, Isabella? No, I'm see. No? Ah, you've never written anything. Why? Um, I'm finding it difficult. You're finding what's difficult here? Weren't you paying attention when your uncle was teaching you? I was following, but... But what, Isabella? If you were following, then you will be able to solve this simple mathematics. Okay, pay attention now, alright? So, what sign is this? What sign is this? Greater than. Is that greater than? Sorry, Mr. Uh, there is no problem. Good oh. afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Gideon. Um, actually, I noticed something about Isabella, so I thought I should let you know. Okay. I noticed that Isabella has not been able to do most of her homework. In fact, the one you gave her yesterday, I had to explain to her for her to get a glimpse of what he was talking about. So, I'm of the opinion that maybe you should change your style of teaching her 
so that she can be catching up you know maybe try being more friendlier with her or so it's just a suggestion does it no 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 problem you have a point uh, actually I've been very hard on her or better said very harsh but um, that will stop from now on so we'll try your suggestion thank you very much You're welcome anything to make your work easier and um, to make her learn also very fast it's all right I'll leave you both now all right thank you Very good, you're being a good girl. Hmm? Continue being a good girl, okay? Yes, so our today's topic is how to care for our body. What did I say? How to care for our body. Good. So, one of the many ways that we care for our body is by bathing regularly and also by washing our hands after using the toilet or after coming from outside so and also by making sure that our undies are very clean and properly washed Uncle, what is undies? yes um undies are those tiny little clothes that we wear before putting on our outfit for the day you know things like a pants a bra uh boxers and singlets and other things like that and i'm sure you have not started using bra oh, cool. but you're putting on a pant that's all cool the pant that you're putting on who washes it for you my auntie my and my mommy at times it's me mm. so the one you're putting on now you said you washed it yourself it's so cool. Now, now i think i have to inspect it to be sure that it's clean Mm. Okay. Yes, I see that you're putting on a red colored pant. And then um, I think I need to go further to see how uh, clean it is. No, Uncle, don't touch me there. All right, let's um, continue. So, um, like I said, baiting, washing, Babe, you know what? Let me call you back, okay? I beg, girl, let me call you back, Jerry. Isabella, what's the meaning of this? How many times have I warned you to stop intruding, especially when I'm on the call? It's a sign of disrespect. I'm sorry, Auntie. By the way, what's the problem? I don't like my private tutor. You don't like your private though. What's the meaning of that? I don't like him. I want another one. Why will you like him? You don't like him simply because he flogs you and corrects you whenever you're doing something wrong, right? It's not that, Auntie. Sabella, there is no other reason why you don't like your private tutor. Just because he flogs you and corrects you whenever you're wrong. You need someone with a soft hand, in it. Listen, Isabella, your mom will be back by weekend and she expects to see improvements, especially in your academics. So you better don't disappoint her. Buckle up, Isabella. Have I made myself clear? Yes, Auntie. Am I talking to someone? Yes, Auntie. Now go have your bath. Let me fix your meal. Aburo, Aburo, come, come, Aburo. I thought you said you are a teacher. 
How long does it take you to learn how to not get? Or because you are teaching little children, you have learned day little. What is the meaning of this thing? Are you an alaba? Why will you not talk like that? One day now you cannot be seen. I will carry my AK for seven. Come out and go What is nonsense? Don't worry, one day very soon. Mama, I'm the person in lockdown. Come, come, hold on. Somebody will come. This one, go, 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 go. Are you a thief? I'm a robber. Isabella, what is the meaning of this? So you've been here all along and I've been calling you. You didn't answer. You want me to flog you? No, auntie. Then come out. Your uncle is waiting for you to teach you. I don't want to learn today. What do you mean by you don't want to learn today? I don't like that, uncle. Isabella, I will not repeat myself again. Come out. Go get your book. Look at you lazy girl, I don't like him. One. Oh, please, I'm, I'm sorry, please. I'm teaching and you are here drawing rubbish. Something that is not relevant to what we're... What, what, are, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Kneel down properly. Please, I'm very sorry. What are you sorry about? No, you think your mother paid me to come and be joking with you. Today I will punish you. I will flog you please. so that you will know that this is not a joke. Please, Next time... Please, please. What, what am I even saying? Please. I need you to pull off your clothes so that this flogging will enter very well. Because I don't know what is wrong with you. Why would you be drawing while I'm teaching? Please, I'm very sorry. Am I why why are you pleading again because i am very sure you are going to do it all over again concentration is that a hard work pull your clothes please i'm very sorry please i said please you should pull worry. okay you want me to do that for you please what? please you're running eh that makes your fence tripled They don't keep give the, any food for this house to give you. I don't know that one they call they call uh, uni, uh, uniform copper. She will just be walking from pole to pole. She cannot even give you food. Now nah, hunger don't they kill you. Anyway. See, take this kuli kuli. This more kuli kuli where you from my pocket. Take. What is what this is what I'm using to hold my my belly. I don't chop this one. I will give you one. I go hold one. Take. Take this one. Take a good good shop before Hank. Hey! What do you do? Can I take my watch? Do you know how much they, they say good good? Do you, do you know how long I walk this place? Before I move to back. I'm not your father. What is going on here? What, 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 what is the meaning of the question? Huh? 
You are asking me why she she, she crying. Is she, is she not here? Go talk, talk to her. Nonsense. And that one called Tiny. I want to see my mommy. Sweetie. Your mommy will be back in two days' time, okay? When she comes back, you see her, right? I want to see my mommy now. But your mom is not even in town. You know what? Just cheer up, alright? When your mommy comes back, you will see her and she will soon be back. So, let me go get your ice cream, alright? Stand up now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Dear God, save me out of this. Make my auntie, Eunice, understand what this uncle is doing to me. Save me from this uncle, I pray to you, my God. Bring back my mother safely from wherever she is right now, that I may tell her what is going on. Please, God, please, in Jesus' name I pray, Amen. It is, it is the Zechariah that born Jesus. We born Jesus after um, prophet they come say merely go born him again. They come born him. You see we are the lighter. He say there was the days her Lord the King Judah. A place of Zachariah. Zachariah, if you read Bible, Zachariah flew everywhere in the Bible. They Abra, who have See, now it is because I left the gate open. That is the reason why you 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 took the advantage. And the meaning go yourself inside this place without even knocking. What is the meaning of that? Are you a thief? Look what was up. I'm asking you all this thing, all this why. What is the meaning? I not want to knock. But what are you doing with this 100% non-entity of a man? You see him? I was reading with him. Let this be the first and the last time you will be reading or have anything to do with this non-entity. Now prepare for your today's class. But I have a running stomach. I said you should stand up coming and tell Oh, 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 you see. Abro, Abro, listen, let me tell you something. This is more pain. Are you getting me? So don't call it this, you are iron bia bia where they used to brush tire for moto. Come here, come the jet for small picking. You the crazy. Why you gonna shut at him? Now listen to me. Let this be the first and the last time I will see you distracting that young girl. When you, you are nothing but a one. In fact, you are the incompatibility. Is you or don't buy it? What 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 kind of nonsense distracting? Are you from the devil? You don't see me teaching her the Holy Bible, teaching her Holy Ghost, and telling and teaching her how Jesus was born. And you come here, call it destruction. It will go, it will go hellfire. Are you an angel? That is the reason why you, 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 every time you talk, your your mouth will go like this. I believe I've made myself clear. Clear. Clear what? The thing is, this place in a park with a clear moto. Kata kata, where are you? So I. No, you didn't do your assignment because you were busy with that malentity. Hmm? So... dare you say that? No, there is no telling at all. If you tell anybody what I would do to that person and you, you will not find it funny. What will you do to me? Do you want to know what I will do? I will kidnap you and your mother will never see you again. And before she even gets close to finding you, you would have been 
dead. Do you want to die? Do you want to still see your mommy? Then there is no telling to anyone, okay? Hmm? You will continue to be the good girl that you are. Hmm? That's my girl. He's been tutoring her and she's coping very much well. Yes, of course. So when are you coming back? Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, sister. Bye. Sabala, what was the problem? I thought you were supposed to be sleeping by now. Is there a problem? I will kidnap you and your mother will never see you again. And before she even gets close to finding you, you would have been dead. No. Are you sure? Good night, Auntie. Um, hold on. Your mom just called. She said she'll be coming back tomorrow. I can't wait, Auntie. Good night. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> Madam, hmm? welcome. All right, I'll see you later. Madam, hunger, hunger, chew me. Oh, Marcus, please just go. <laughs> so, what of your tutor? He's in the backyard. Oh, okay. Uh, let me just go in and freshen up, and I'll come back and see him later. I've had a long drive. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sabella, where are you going to? Your uncle is still at the backyard, and Sam is not yet up. So. Go, go, go. I don't want to go. I want to be with my mommy. Sweetie, please. I'm paying him heavily for his time here. Hmm? Please just go. When your class is over, you come in and let's play, okay? Okay, mom. So, let me fix one up. So, how have you been holding up? Mom, I did not enjoy your absence. And there's a lot that's been happening to me. Happening to you, but your auntie Eunice said um, everything was all right with you. Mom, I don't like my tutor. Your auntie Eunice spoke very well of him on the phone to me. So why don't you like him? Mom, we need to see what he does to me. Does to you? What does he do to you? Talk to me. Um. I will kidnap you. I don't like the way he scolds me and looks at me. Sweetheart, he just does that because he wants you to concentrate. Mom, I don't like him. Look, Ella, I practically had to beg Mr. Joseph to send me a trustworthy and intelligent tutor. So as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Gideon is the best option there is for now. I just need you to appreciate and like him for how he's been brushing you up. Mom, you need to listen to me. Honey, let's talk about this later. Hmm? It's bad manners for you to talk while eating. Hmm? Give me Marcos, Marcos, Marcos. My name is Marcos. 
Will you open this gate this minute? Will you open this gate this minute? See, I have told you before. Go check their people if they suffer epilepsy. Because anytime where they talk, they, they check. Who you be? You are very stupid. Your non-entity is 100% packaged with full option illiteracy. My friend, will you open this gate this minute? <laughs> you know why I leave you now? Because as you talk that, that's bit too stupid. You come glorify yourself, put a hundred patents. The other one, where you talk now? Non-entity. If I stand one more minute here, you will lose your job. Cash away you! Now you employ me for here. Not because I'm the respect madam. You don't understand me? If I open this grid, you have moved. You don't understand me? Vamut! Speed Vamut! Nonsense! Since there are no go school. You know, I think you need a tutor, but definitely not me. Not me, no. Where did they talk? You know where they eat, you know the kind of toothpick where they use? You don't, you don't say I need toothpick. You are nonsense! Get away, you! You know the kind of China toothpick? Imported, not local, not broomstick. Nonsense. Got my the talk say I get to the peak. The inside that no anyhow no monster compound you enter. This girl they take 30 minutes to test loan before you open them. As I'm talking to you, this girl they record you, they record me. Not on me. So the last. And they do test learning. Since there days. But then you have compound you the enter. So they show yourself. See you are flat blade like lizard. You know, you know, I think you don't even know your job. You, you can't even find the key that opens the lock. You are you are inconcomplistic Odombara idiot. You understand? This get not any hard get, you know, see the sound. Boom boom. You did like 190. Boo boot. V boot. And they take the key. The Teslalam, that is how you work. He did lucky, he did lucky. He's not left handed. Just anyhow. It's a man, Vamut. Vamut! These people never cease to amaze me. Isabella, what's going on? Sister, help me and ask how. Can you imagine that any time I bait Isabella, I notice that she always groans in pains when I touch in between her legs. In between her legs? Yes. Isabella, what's happening? I don't know. You don't know? Have you been touching yourself there? No, Mom. The only reason why you'll be feeling pains between your legs is because you've been touching yourself there and now you've wounded yourself. Now listen to me. Don't ever touch yourself there again. Nice girls don't do such things. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Now go. Oh God. My mother has forsaken me. My auntie has forsaken me. But father, please don't forsake me. For I trust in you. I don't want to die. I don't want any bad thing to happen to me or my mother. Father Lord, let this torture and nightmare, let it put to stop. Father Lord, open my mother's eye to see that he's a bad man. Father Lord, bless my mother. Prosper her. Guide and protect my friends. For in Jesus' name I pray. Yes, sir. Mommy, good morning. Good morning, dear. How are you? I'm fine. I see that you're all set to go to work. Yes, I have an AGM today. What's an AGM? It's an annual general meeting. And I'm running late because I didn't get up in good time. Well, what about what we discussed last time? What we discussed? Please remind me, I don't recall. About my request of having another tutor. <sighs> that. Issa, Eunice told me you don't like Mr. Gideon because he started using his cane on you. It's not about the cane. 
Okay, then I'll tell him to stop yelling at you if that's the problem. Mommy, I'm not listening. Look, Isabella, we are not changing Mr. Gideon. It's not easy to find a teacher as intelligent as he is, huh? Please, I know you're disappointed, but I need you for my sake. Just manage with him, okay? Huh? Please. Be a good girl. Before I open it, there is matter analyzing. There is very, very serious matter analyzing. Marcus, I hope this isn't about salary increment because I just increased your salary. Madam, this is not salary increment. Even if you increase it, there is no problem. Madam, it is because you travel. There is no time for me to explain this thing to you and complain. Marcus, that... please don't waste my time. What is it? Madam, let me let me cut this in short. Madam, somebody has been taking your glory. This man that is coming here to teach you a kekere, small picking. That man, teacher, teach me nonsense. He, he has been coming here, talking to me anyhow, no less friend. Every time he come here, he go chat, Marcos, Marcos, Marcos. He go to check like person where one suffer April Lepi. And are you supposed to check, they, they do like that. There is no problem. If you're going to talk to me, I know if the, if the floor has lived for this compound with all that autocracy and the impunity. Marcus, what's your job in this house? Madam, to open gate, the close gate, oversee, oversee, jumping through the fence, coming inside, going outside, everybody. Now, I'd like you to do me a huge favor. Stick to your job detail, mind your business, and leave Mr. Gideon alone. Hey! If he ever has cause to complain about you to me, you will lose your job. Do I make myself clear? Madam, he does not need to lose his job. Madam, a shalom, peace of the Lord lay for this house and entire. Madam, you not go hear anything open again. Open the gate for me. You not go hear anything again, peace of the Lord. And you open the gate. Swallow it. Swallow it. Uh -uh. Okay. Drink enough. Okay, sweetie. Is she feeling alright? Uh, I've given her drugs. Well, if the fever persists, I'll take her to the hospital tomorrow. Okay. And in that case, you have to contact Mr. Gideon so that. Um, you will be informed. I've actually tried calling him, but his number is not connecting. Maybe you just let him know when he comes later. Sure. Mm. Hmm? Please, could you stay with me for today, please? Sweetie, you know I'd love to, but mommy has to work. Please try and understand. All this makeup, are you going out? Um, yes, but I won't be staying out long. Please ensure you tell Mr. Gideon when he comes so she can rest. Sure, sure I will. Okay. Mommy has to go and get ready, okay? Huh? Please, promise me you get better soon. going on here? No, there's, there's no problem. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Gideon. <laughs> Please, afternoon. I'm very sorry about this. No, 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 no. no I can see you here for Isabella. Yes. Uh, is she around? Yeah, she's inside. She's actually lying down. She's not been feeling too well. Oh, seriously? Yes. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. Can I see her? Sure, sure, she's inside, you can see her. Okay, can I go inside and see her now? Um, yes you can. I was actually going out to get something, but nevertheless, just come in and me take you in. Okay, that would be nice. Sorry about that.
Uh, are you going out? Mm -mm. I'm going inside you. Before you open the gate for me. See, I does not. I said open gate. He does not English. This man, what are you doing here? Auntie Eunice, you need to calm down, okay? Eunice is the one who showed me your room before going outside to buy something. So I heard you were sick. Please leave here right now. Oh, so you wanted to get rid of me? That's why you have to lie to your mother that you were sick, all because of me. Please just leave here, I beg of you. But how, how can I leave? How? How can I leave when you have offended me? And you know, you have offended me by dodging your class for today. And I have to punish you accordingly. You know, when you offend me, the punishment as usual. So come here. Please leave here. Please. You, Auntie you Eunice, you help me. Help me. I think from what you've said, your daughter no longer wants me as her tutor and I think you should let me go. Please, Mr. Gideon, I don't want you to get me misconstrued. Nobody's talking about you leaving. Perhaps she doesn't like the way you scold her, that's all. She barely pays attention while I'm teaching and you know it's difficult tutoring such a child. I understand. And I'm really grateful for your help so far. I've noticed a marked improvement in her work. It's just... I'm a bit bothered by the way she complains about you. And that means she is not comfortable with my style. So I think you should let me leave. I don't think quitting is the best form of action right now. Perhaps you could get a bit friendlier with her. Well, Mrs. Joy, I will give it one last shot. But if the complaints keeps coming, you will have to get her another tutor. Whom I know she will still complain about because that is children for you. I know how kids are. That's why I don't want us talking about quitting. As far as you keep doing your best for her, then that's fine. Hmm? If you keep giving your best, then there's no need to quit. That's an order. Let me get you something to drink. Oh, thank you, ma'am. I went. Craftsman, sir, I came to talk to you. You came to see me. It's more than they call me. No, I'm the one that wants to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. Now, what thing happened? Please, you know that man that comes to teach me. I talk him. That idiot. Hey. Only God knows I hate that, that man with the passion. 
to God. If my child, I get the bomb. I for don't blast I in bomb bomb. Destroy him. Complete. Please don't destroy him. I want you to help me. Please, could you stay around when he, while he's teaching me? See here. Yeah? I don't talk to your mama about this thing. As you did now, your face is stay fresh. My own, don't the old. As I talk to your mama about this man, your mama say I, I should focus on the gates, the work where I can't do. And I do not want to lose my job. Please, it's just for a week or two. I've told my mom about this. She doesn't listen to me. I have sister, the copper. She doesn't even pay attention. Please, don't disappoint me. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. If, if I do not listen to you, uh, if I do not look at your mother face, listen to madam. Now you are going to listen to. Please, you have to help me. Please, don't mind what my mother is saying. Hey. If I do not know, mind what your mother is saying now, the one way you say I go mind, I am told I cannot help you. Uh, I still like my job. I don't want to lose my job. Huh? Hey! Hey, Tucker. Only God know what he, they do this girl. We made this girl start to look for second eye. He can and give this, this teacher away, they jack this place. Every time they go, they jack, they jack, they jack. I don't need to live with the doer. Bad. Very, very bad. See some more picking. Fine, fine face. If I get that, why I don't go get time? Mark also, focus, focus. Don't lose the job. I remember when I was... I'm sorry. You're sorry. Is that all you could say? What's going on? It's Isabella. I dished her food for her. She didn't eat it and now it's cold already. Maybe she's not hungry. Sweetie, why don't you eat? It's past time for your breakfast. You're not hungry. You see? She's not hungry. So give her the food when she is. Let me run along now till I get back. Don't come back. Isabella, I don't want you back. I see you're angry with me for a reason I don't understand. We'll talk about it when I get back. Isabella! 
It's Isabella. I bumped into her in the kitchen trying to stab herself to death with a knife. God forbid. Isabella! Why? Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. Just leave me. You tried to kill yourself and you're saying I should leave you alone? Isabella! You want to kill yourself and leave me? Your father has left me and now you want to leave me? Do you hate me this much? I'm so disappointed in you, Isa. She's in, right? Um, you're here for tutorials. Of course, yes. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I should have called. Um, Isabella won't be available for classes today. Oh, but why? Today is our, one of our most important classes. Um, well, this is confusing. Um, she tried to kill herself yesterday. What? I don't know. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Oh my God. Where is she now? Is she in her room? She's just resting. Let her just stay in today. I don't think it's a good idea for her to have classes today. Okay? Oh. So let me just drop you off somewhere. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, no, there's no problem. Yeah, I, I, I forgot to call you. I'm not sorry at all. Okay. You, you, you mean I can't see her? Oh, no, no, that's a bad idea, please. Mm. Okay. Let me just drop you off, okay? Okay. So sorry. No, no problem. Uh, madam, I, are you going out? Obviously. Marcus, don't let me come there. This out for donkey years. They never carry me for this much. Now, now this this paper, 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 t-shirt. We come here now. Yeah, they don't carry for much. Small time now, if you begin the thing, then I hear open, open get it. Then they drive the house. Monsieur, idiots. I'm see my wash ground. So, haven't learned what reproduction is. Can you give me an example of a reproductive organ? I don't know, sir. 
come on, don't be silly. Don't tell me that you don't know an example of a reproductive organ. I really don't know. It's okay. I think you just want me to show you an example. Do you want to see an example of a reproductive organ? Are you sure you want to see it? Okay. Now that you have seen an example of a reproductive organ, why don't you show me the female reproductive organ, the one that you have. Now bearing in mind that the female reproductive organ is the one that is capable of procreation. So I need you to show me your reproductive organ. Uncle, please don't start. Don't start what? You don't want to show me by yourself you want me to come and say it by myself isn't it now i think you are saying no because you want me to come and see it by myself no we are learning here there's no need to struggle okay all right help me <laughs> I thought they say this man is a teacher. And the madam brought him here to teach this person. Now he's shouting anytime he comes here, he'll chat in the backyard. I'm sure he let him not buy this girl. Oh. They cannot hold me responsible if there is anything, case of biting. I'm biting off ear or biting hand. <laughs> Have to. Help me! Every opportunity to learn and leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Help me! Oh no, exactly. Leave me alone! Leave me Madam, Madam, it don't happen. Madam, I say it don't happen. The dog has eaten the bone where they shut up for next. What's happening? Is, is my daughter okay? Is everybody okay? Madam, everybody okay. Your daughter, I does not know. It's okay. Ah. It's but, but, Madam, I saw with my next. You're incoherent. Side. Just talk to me. What is the matter? Madam, what did I want to tell you? Eh? Oh, Jesus. That man. That this me nonsense where they teach you are to more picking. Now leave devil. What happened? Madam, let me let me give you an answer. It's Molu. Madam, I saw with my naked eye. He put hand in so. He put his hand where? Madam, I saw with my naked eye. Two naked eye complete. I saw he put hand in you. Inside. Inside where? I say inside here. You. Hey. How dare you? How dare you use my daughter to crack such a dirty joke? Madam, I know nothing about the two children. Madam, you know, you employ me, say, make I oversee and see a report. I saw, I report. I said, I saw. You put on a hands on. You're still saying this nonsense. What hey. rubbish? Come on, run up on the gate for me. I can see my familiarity with you is breeding all this rubbish. How dare you? Hmm. 
that's impossible. I don't believe that. Same here, but I can't imagine where Marcos will get the gods to cook up such a story. He's never told me a thing like that before. Sister, have you forgotten who Marcos is? He acts and speaks without thinking. It's high time you sack that silly gate man of yours. I'll give him a final warning and hope he doesn't broach the subject with Mr. Gideon. Because if he hears it, he'll be pissed. I have told you times without number. Suck that git man. You can imagine the kind of unfounded statement he made. Ah. I'll talk to him. And to my daughter too. I hope you're not planning to give the worst of that riffraff a thought. Because there are very much better important things to think about. Marcus. He just won't stop amazing me. The door, the, door is, the door is locked. And you have the audacity to tell me that the gate is locked without going to open it. Madam, it's not the audacity of the gate. Madam, it's because of the danger, because everybody front and back is in danger here. Madam, I want to know what you think about that in what we discussed yesterday. Really serious, serious matter. What thing did we discuss? Mm, madam, th th think about this in this man, this year, bro. That man where the teach, teacher teach me nonsense, where they speak grammar anyhow. That in the way I told you yesterday, when you, you, you do your small picking, uh, the hand is off. Hey! What is wrong with you? Did I not warn you not to make my daughter a subject of your filthy jokes? What's the matter with you? I think I've had enough of this. I've had, I've had it. Look, by month end, you're going to leave this house. Hey! But I'm not what I've had it with you. Madam, I do I do not work for you, Madam, I beg you with the name of open God. Open the gate for me. Marcus, open. Marcus, if I need to walk to that gate to open it, I swear, you are going to leave my house this minute Marcus, and forget you your mean? salary. Hey? Madam, Come and open the gate now. What is your problem? I didn't find the key. What rot? I think we should actually look into what this man is saying. What, what, what are you trying to imply? That there's any truth in his statement? I'm also trying to be observant. You said he has not said anything like this to you before. If Marcus has actually seen something like this and he has complained to you, I think there's a need for us to put Mr. Gideon to check. I'm not saying there's any truth in what he's saying because I'm praying that there should be no truth in what he's saying because I don't even like the Marcus of a guy. So maybe we should just reconsider. Huh? Let's go up late. I need to teach you something new. Something brand new today, okay? Do you like ice cream? Now, I need to show you another kind of ice cream. Okay? Alright. Now I need you to put your hand inside. Leave me alone. What are you doing? I don't like it when I'm trying to impact knowledge and you are struggling with it. Okay? You don't have to struggle with it, okay? Leave me! Oh, okay. I think you want me to stand up, right? Fine, I'll stand up. Leave me alone! Don't you be so honest. Just leave me alone. Your head and soft is that? Hey! Lady handed! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mr. Gideon, what are you doing? Uh, you? I'm sorry now, I. Gideon! What did you do to my child? Um. Uh. Now nah, devil walk. Hey! Where did you go? Where you see them? Eh? See you, service, we be living. Hey! See the devil here. You are the devil. Madam, I thought you see. I devil there inside his eye. See, sweetie. Did you hurt you? Hey! 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 Hey!
Jon. You will burn. You will burn in hell. And I'll do everything in my power to ensure you burn here on earth. Marcus! Hey, madam! Make his face unrecognizable hey. before the police get here. Hey! Nina! Nina! You do this! Let me win! You get my son! You saw it yourself. Oh, my baby. I'm so sorry. I'll never leave your side. I'll protect you. I'm so sorry. I'll be a real mother to you. I'll be there to listen whenever you want to talk. Okay? Oh, my baby. I'll take you to the hospital tomorrow for a checkup.